Hello everybody. Today I'm at Joseph A. Banks and I'm going to document a process, see if we can get a, another affordable suit, okay? So here we go. Hello everybody, it's Robert Powers. Four and a half out of five. My shoe collection. These are made of shell cordovan. Can you tell the difference? Now here they are finished up. I'm not a professional. Look how tight this is though. Very clearly here, I just cut the thread in half. Here it goes. Here they are completely finished up. Okay, everybody, so the first step is I'm headed into the store, and I was on the email list, so I watched for sales. I knew I needed a new suit, and what I had was a $79 sale, so that's like a you know really crazy low price. Um, Joseph A. Bank suits, in my opinion, are pretty much always on sale, so you should never pay their full price for them, uh, but this one I think was marked as $598. I would call it a $250 suit, and it's fused, you know. Um, but it was marked down to 79, uh, I'm sorry, 89, $89 was a sale price for one day only. And then I also had a $20 off coupon if I spent more than a hundred dollars. So that brought it actually down to $69. Okay. And so I ordered it, paid for it online, had it shipped to the store. And, uh, this is what we're going to do is, uh, go to the store. Even though I had not tried it on before purchasing it, you can exchange them at the store for the same price once you've purchased it, okay? So uh, I purchased a 40 regular because I have two other Joseph A. Bank suits that are th uh, 40 regular. But what you're gonna see here in this part is I actually needed a 40 long. It's not much of a difference, but um, you know, so you're gonna see uh, what happens next at the store. Um, uh, I've edited it down and also I'm having this a dude at the store uh, you know, shoot it. So a part of it, you're going to see the camera is sideways when it shouldn't be, you know, so I couldn't control that. You know, I, I guess if you know, I really wanted to step up my game, I would have arranged this in advance and have somebody come with me to video. But again, this is a hobby, not my livelihood. So I didn't have the, um, you know, I didn't really have the resources to do that. Okay. So I apologize in advance. Don't break slight break, medium break, full break. I think medium break. Medium break? Okay. Yeah. I'm getting that. I got it. like uh, plain bottom or cuffs? Plain, plain bottom. Mm -hmm. Two optional things, Bob. Okay. You might be interested in. You want you could actually maybe. This is kind of cool too. They got right here in the mirror. They got this whole thing. So no break because we have no fold. Um, medium break, full break. It actually has a complete you know, fold, I guess. Um, cuffed. I think the trend today is no cuffs, right? Yep. Yeah. If you want so to I'm put picking. Sure, gripper in here. Uh -huh. This goes around your waist. What it does is it just oh, gets sewn around exactly. the waistband. How much is it? 15 if you'd like that. And then this is the traveler's crease. That's the uh -huh. permanent crease that goes, they put it right down the center of your pant. They put a tiny silicone bead down the front and the back and then press it together. And how much is that? I don't know, you can add that on. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. I've got those. I, I have this in. My other ones are from you guys. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's hard to... It makes a big difference. It, it's you're a tweener. A regular shirt's too, too short on you. Mm -hmm. The long would probably be too long. Right, right. I find that the length of the coat's always too long. And then long. For a 40 long, and you just see how it looks. Really? Yeah. So we're looking at, here's the sleeve length. I think, in my opinion, it looks like... I think this one needs to come out yeah. more. This one needs to lengthen just a little bit. And I think the, the way I've learned it is the coat length should be between these two knuckles. Everybody's giving me different things. Some people say you cuff your hands and it should hit right there. But I think any way you slice it, the length is good. Yep. I think the shoulders are good, right? I think that falls. It shouldn't be over. It should be. The only thing I see there is I always get that wrinkle right up here. Because I can flex. Go ahead and push this on. I want to just take a look at this. This is a 40 long? Yeah. Okay. The coat length definitely is longer. I can see that. So that's a better fit for you. Really? Yeah. You think this coat length isn't too long as it goes down way almost to the end of my No, it's the correct one. Um, and the, the other thing about a 40 long for mm -hmm. you is this is what we call a coat waist. Okay. On the regular, it's up here on you, which is too high. So this okay. is right here where it's supposed to be. So. Okay. It's up to you if you want to keep this suit, you can. If you want to exchange it, you can try to order a 40 long for you. It's whatever okay. you want to do. Because is that is that it? Is that the same style? No. No. Okay. Um, if you think it fits better, then the sleeves would have to be shortened on that one, right? Uh, probably, yeah. But the sleeves are a minor alteration. You're buying for two things. You're buying for, well, I mean, obviously, you're buying across there, but that's a 40, so that's fine. I mean. mm -hmm. You see your coat waist is too high. Okay. It should be down there, and then mm -hmm. it's way too, that's at least two inches too short on you. 
Um, Are you saying the coat length should be longer? Absolutely. Really? Okay. What happens is you want it to ride. So, 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 you want it to ride the wet rails. So when you do this, you want your clip to be right at the bottom of the rails like that. Here's rails meaning here yep. on your fingers. Okay. And here's it is. Uh, there's a gap there. Yours is an inch and a half too short. Okay. So it's up to you. If you want okay. to keep it, we'll uh, alter it for what? you. Okay. Well, can we look at what would it take to? Since I bought it online, how does that work to exchange it? We'll have Dan. Okay. Hey, Dan. Oh, that's really good. Okay. okay. I've said this before. Um, what we're really doing is, if you're trying to save money, you're probably going to have to put an extra time to do it. You know, that's the waiting for sales and looking and researching and things like that, okay? So what happens is when you have, um, have more means, you know, then you're able to trade some of your money, okay, to pay to get your time back where you don't have to do that kind of stuff. So that being said, when I'm getting something on sale and a bargain here like that, especially this is really honestly, it was $69. The full retail price on the suit's mark $698. It's not a $698 suit. My personal opinion, it's $250, $300 equivalent for the materials and what you're getting at that, you know, things like that. But still, even if it was $300 suit and you know, I'm getting it for, you know, $69. Uh, you know, they're not making a profit on this thing. They know it and you know, they're not exactly gonna give you, you know In my opinion probably as good services if you really, you know, spent some money with them uh, But that being said my experience with Joseph A. Banks um, My experience limited experience. I've only bought three new suits from them now This would be the third is it's a little rushed, you know, it's in and out um, the difference I would say is being cordial to somebody uh, versus really connecting with somebody cordial is hi how are you nice to meet you next you know it's like it's like hi how are you uh-huh you know it's like not really being genuinely it's like I'm saying hi how are you but I don't really care how you are you know and it's the next 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 it's not taking time kind of you know blowing through explanations you know and that's kind of the feeling and the impression I get you know but like I said for the price that I'm paying I'll deal with it you know um, you know, versus other places I've gone to, like I, you know, did a video on Savile Row where it was like, you know, uh, full attention, time, you know, there's a bowl of chocolate laying out there, explanations, and then not just answering the question I asked, but even going to the next step and saying, here, let me show you what I mean by that, you know, so, but you're going to pay for that, I guess. So, um, so, but at least some value that the gentleman did bring me is he illustrated to me, and I am trusting him a little bit, where he said the length was a little bit too short. Um, and it wasn't an inch and a half. It was probably more like three quarters of an inch um, on the 40 regular suit. So we're turning it back and they're getting me a 40 long. Okay. And a standard is six inch drop from the coat to the pants. What that means is a 40, normally the pants are 36, six inches drop, you know, in waist size. Okay. Um, so uh, the waist was a little snug, not tight. I was surprised because I'm normally like a 35 waist. I often will buy a 36 pant, but 35 is my ideal. Um, so we'll see how the pants come back. I think they're going to be similar. Uh, what he was measuring was to let out the seat of the pants, like right under, you know, my butt crack, the crotch area, to let that out about a half inch, give it just a little more room. It was kind of riding up into my butt a little bit. Um, so they'll just have to remeasure because when they get you a new coat, they get you new pants as well. But there's no charge for that. I got to wait about a week for that to come back. Um, and what, so what you don't want to alter on a suit is the chest size. That's the 40 is a distance around the chest, which is basically di dictating where the shoulders lie and as well as the collar, how it fits around your neck. Uh, and then the length of the coat, you generally don't ever want to alter. So those things on the 40 long to 40 regular are going to be the same. The sleeves, if you saw, were a little short. So the sleeves will be longer. They'll have to be shortened is what it looks like on the 40 long. Okay. So, um, the other thing that I'll try and show you and I'll cut in here is a traveler's crease is they put a, um, a bead of silicone on the inside of the crease of the pant so it stays permanent. It's really cool. I have that. And the other one, I forget what it's called, is the grip on the inside of the waist. And on the waistband, there's two rows of looped silicone rubber, you know, and it's only about, you know, that big, but two bands and that rubber silicone really does grab your shirt, keeps your shirt tucked in. It's pretty awesome. If you ever have that, you won't want pants again without it. So those two um, uh, upgrades together are 25 bucks, you know? So I believe what they said was uh, the, the sleeves, I forget, I'll give you the exact prices, but the sleeves were 15, 20 bucks, something like that. No, 30 bucks, something like that. And I think the cuffs were $13 to do. Um, so I'll probably have about another 50 bucks or something like that in uh, doing all the tailoring. So uh, I'll have to wait a week here and um, I'll report back to you guys. So here it is with all the tailoring finished. So the sleeves were adjusted, the pant hems were adjusted and they took in the waist just a little bit. Um, I've paired it with a round tree and a York uh, slim fit shirt. The sleeves on the shirt could be a little bit longer to show some cuff, you know, but that's going to vary. 
all my shirts, I have a few shirts that I've had tailored because I have one arm longer than the other, but most of them are not. So that, how much cuff is showing is gonna vary based on what shirt I wear with the day. Because this has got a slight uh, blue pinstripe in it, I try to pair it with a, a shirt that has some blue in it. I want to try to get some more solid blue shirts. Um, now you see this shirt has an Oxford collar, um, so the button down collar. If you're not gonna wear a suit, not gonna wear a tie, with a sport coat, or, sport coat or a suit, I think the button-down collar is a way to go. Um, ideally, with a shoot, suit, you should have a tie on. Another discussion, another argument for another forum. So you see the pants, um, uh, the cuffs, nice, you know, moderate break, and I've paired them with a pair of gray pattern socks. Uh, I've got a pair of Bostonian wingtip loafers and, uh, you know, matching cordovan colored belt. So what do you think? Not too bad, huh? You can still see there is still a little bit of a roll in the neck there, a little bit of gapping, but like I said, this is an off the rack. Uh, you know, I would call this full retail price $250, $300 suit, you know, and I paid $69 for the suit. Uh, the tailoring was right around $49, so tax, let's call it about 125 bucks, you know? So now, I wanted to compare and contrast this to my Brooks Brothers uh, 1818 is the style of suit, I guess, the Brooks Brothers 1818 Regent Fit Suit. This suit, the full retail price is $998. I think I paid 130 on eBay for it. Spent a little over 100 bucks on tailoring. That's a whole other video I have. Half canvas construction. The material is much nicer. It's finer, smoother, much more beautiful. There's more detail in it. And the armholes, you see how they're cut better? Do you see how when you get the full, uh, I'm sorry, half canvas construction instead of the fusing? Do you see how more conforming it is? It's more comfortable. It's also not as hot because you get airflow through the layers. This one is, by, by the way, not perfect. It doesn't fit perfectly on the shoulders either. So um, this is not a custom. This is not bespoke, okay? But I at least wanted to give you something to compare and contrast it to. The whole point with this was you still can look decent you know, without breaking the bank. If you're willing to wait, you're willing to get on a few email lists, you know, and you're willing to look around. And, you know, now you can look good and present yourself in a positive manner, whether it's just you're going to church, whether it's you just want to look nice out in public, whether it's you want to step up your game, especially if you're in business for yourself or in sales. I think this is really important, even if it's not required. So I think you should dress for the occasion and you should dress for where you want to be dress for the position you want to have, dress for the status that you aim to be viewed as, you know, so do that one step ahead. And I think it's going to open up a lot of doors for you. So I hope this brought you some value, showed you some more of the possibilities of what are out there. So most of my channel is more shoe related. So if you want to see more of my stuff, go to my channel, feel free to check it out. And I uh, hope you had a, a, have a great day. I hope this gave you some value. God bless you guys. Take care. Stay safe out there.